Hey Aries, how's it going? Just staging your cards right now so we can get your reading going for the first half of February. Please clean these, please clean these, please clean these. All right, let's give these one more clean. It's always good to clean your cards before you start a reading because you don't want any bad negative, bad negative, <laughs> bad energy. You don't want any bad energy around your cards. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let me just move this out of the way. Ah, I'm burning shit up in here. Aries, what are you burning? What are you guys burning? I almost burned my, uh, my table here. Okay. All right. So let's get your reading going. Get my music going, too. I always have to have music going. I feel like I can't concentrate without music. Or I can't I can't do my thing without music. Um, all right. So, Aries, this is going to be your reading for the first half of February, like I promised. This is it. Um, so, Universe. Send Master Spirit Guides. Archangel Michael. Archangel. Here we are. Archangel Michael. Can you please help me let the Aries know what message you have for them for the first half of February? So, all... Three cards, please. Oh, Aries Moon, Aries Rising, Aries Sun. What message do you have for them for the first half of February? Aries Moon, Aries Sun, Aries Rising. All the Aries. All my Aries viewers. When you're watching, please send me the other one. Okay. You got one card so far. Let's get two more cards out. <sighs> two more cards to Universe. One more card, Universe. One more card. One more card, please. What's going on with Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising. Very Sun, Moon, Rising for the first half of February. One more card. One more card. And we got one more card. <clears throat> I feel like Aries, um, somebody was running. Because I'm out of breath for some reason. Someone was running to do something. Someone's out of breath. Why, why, is there an Aries that, that's out of breath? Why are you out of breath? What's going on? I mean, I know you guys are always go, 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 so... That could be it. What are you so go, 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 go about, huh? What's going on, Aries? So what's, what's up? What's up, my peoples? Aries, 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 Aries. Um, There we go. Let's say you have the temperance card. Sagittarius. You have the swords upside down. Aquarian, Libra, Gemini energy. You have the ace of cups water energy hmm. all right so to start off Aries I feel like that you guys have been practicing a little bit of patience you guys have been balancing out your routine you've been balancing yourself out um, you've been taking a situation in and you're looking at it through um, a logical sense a rational sense for the first time I feel like you're not being impulsive you're actually listening you're not just jumping head first and then asking questions after. Because I feel like something happened around you where it, it actually kind of like dead stopped everything. Where patience came into frame. Where you had to have patience. Where you were you were telling yourself you need to have patience. And yes, you, you do need to have patience. Everything's going to work out. Just have patience. Okay? Then you have these upside down swords. Two of swords, that is. When the swords um, are upright like this, the two of swords, it's basically you trying to make a decision. Or you trying to weigh in two options, two different options. But I feel like there is no more weighing the option because you're not taking either option. There is no movement forward. That's what you're experiencing right now as we speak. It's not even about who, what, where, and why, and which one. It's, I, I don't, I, not at this moment. Like, gone fishing, come back again. I feel like you literally put a halt on trying to make this decision and you're focusing on something else. Now, <clears throat> the Ace of Cups, very beautiful card. Out of um, a deck of 78 cards, to get this card is a very good thing. Ace of Cups is always um, something coming in for you, something that you've been waiting for, something that you've been wanting. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's an offer of emotions. It's an offer towards something good. Um, I feel like this offer is coming in for you in the near future um the only thing is i feel like that because you're in this energy right now you need to get out of this energy 
and it's gonna take you some time as you can see the the, the you see how there's a new moon back there so I feel like this just recently happened maybe Monday something happened Monday when the new moon was out and you kind of saw something you found out about something which made you kind of feel like okay you know what um if you had a list of something you cross the you cross the 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 items on the list off basically and you're starting a new list okay this card right here is telling me that there are good things coming there's good fortune coming there's uh good connections coming solid connections for you guys if those of you who are looking for love um there is an offer of emotions coming in um those of you who are coupled up or in a family situation there's going to be a lot of emotions good emotions that are going to be expressed either to you or you to someone else so overall Aries this is a really good um, reading for the first half of February um, but again again temperance just keep that patience keep that mind frame of patience moving forward um, just understand that whatever you're putting your hands in you have the Midas touch everything is this this is basically this is a good card in the sense that everything is becoming Temperamental. Everything that annoyed you, everything that you were dealing with, I feel like you are looking at it through another perspective. Either you're looking at it through another perspective or you cut it out. You just cut that mess out of your life. And that's why you're moving forward with more patience, more temperance. Um, this could also go for people who were drinking, drinking a lot. Maybe you're looking at yourself and you're saying, nah, man, I need to stop drinking. I need to balance myself. Um, I partied too much. It's time to stop. Um, if not, maybe that's what you need to be looking into everything is good guys nothing is bad but everything is awesome in moderation i don't care what you do my house is judgment free but it has to be in balance you can't do something too much because then there is no balance when there is no balance things go haywire and for aries i feel that a balance is a good thing for you guys because it keeps you in check you know that's why i said that you're not you're no longer doing that whole impulsive thing where you're not thinking and you're leaping first i feel like you're actually taking your time and processing this whatever you're in you're processing it there's some heavy processing going on all right so that's that's it right there temperance and you have the angels behind you you have you have the divine behind you with whatever situation you're going to move into the only thing is this the stagnant this there's this stagnant you know stagnant energy where you're not moving forward you're not moving backwards because of the fact that you did not make a decision now what happens is i'm sorry i think the incense is starting to bother my eyes well um what happens is if you don't make a decision the decision is made for you now whether you like the decision that's made for you or not you have to take that up with the universe that's why we have free will we can make a decision um, but when we give the choice up to the universe, the universe will always make the best choice for us. So at the time period, I feel like you may not feel like this is the best choice, but in the long run, I feel like you are going to look at it and say, you know what, the, the best choice was made. That's why I constantly urge you guys to listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Your soul will tell you what you need to do. If you just quiet the brain, open up your soul and actually listen to it, you will hear a lot you will literally your your soul will tell you what your body needs you know um who you need to have around you who you need to cut out of your life what you need to cut out of your life once you get in tune with yourself major thing major major thing if you're gonna ever hear me obsess about something is get in tune with yourself once you're in tune with yourself you have all the cups coming towards you okay this is right here is a fountain of emotions good emotions okay this, this is no more fighting no more bickering no more trying to figure out because you know what happened since you didn't make the decision the universe cut you out of whatever it was and said you know what i i'm gonna give you something this is a good thing because aries have been going through a lot you know you guys have been going through a lot where i know some aries um they they figure you know this was something right for them and it turned out it wasn't um but you know what it's okay don't kick yourself at all um, don't be hard on yourself be kind to yourself just remind yourself that you know what everything is a lesson no matter what decision we make no matter what we do we can always change the outcome of it by changing our path okay like if you thought someone was you know everything that you wanted to be and you were trying to decide who should I be with this person or that person 
and you know both seem like you know right choices but then you know once you did make the choice you felt that oh my god you know what maybe this wasn't the best choice i made that that would be you between two swords right there okay quiet trying to process and making a decision but what ended up happening is you weren't able to make the decision or I feel like time ran out for you to make the decision. Hence, the universe is coming into play and saying, we're going to give you something that we feel you deserve and is best for you. All right. So this is actually beautiful, guys. Seriously, if we can all take our problems and put them in a basket and just hand them up to the universe and say, look, universe, this is my problem. These are my problems. Please take care of them. I promise you the universe will take care of them. But you have to have the faith. Okay. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in what's coming for you because it is beautiful. It's an offering from the divine, basically. The, you see how the hand's coming out of the sky and it's a cup with, it's a golden cup with water in it. Right? And it has a W in it. For me, the W means, I, I, would, I want to say water in the sense because water refreshes everything water cleans everything water is life if you look at any of my platforms i think i always talk about water is life water is everything water is so divine you have no idea water gives life to everything drink some water keep yourself hydrated i don't know somebody needs to hear that but yes you have water coming in another thing i want to talk about water is uh, in the sense that i'm looking at it in, in the card like this because look if you look really closely look at the bottom see how there's lily pads and there's flowers growing in the water that's how beautiful this is that's how beautiful whatever is coming for you is okay whatever you do in life you want to have it flow like water because everything that flows like water has an ebb and flow to it water is consistent it keeps moving it's determined um coming together with someone and you have a water relationship meaning you have a very transparent relationship you guys know each other there's no hiding there's no hiding behind a mask there's no hiding behind words or or material things it's you and this person naked in front of each other that's what a water relationship is and if anything i can say to you is try to find something that is like that in life not somebody that's they look good, they have money, this, this, and that, Aries. Yes, Aries, I, I love you guys, but you know what? Sometimes being an opportunist is a good thing, but sometimes also being an opportunist can lead you into situations where you turn around and you see say, holy shit, why am I here? So I would say, please, please, please lead with temperance. Give it to the divine. And the divine will reward you. But do it with integrity and listen to the intuition all right so Aries that's your reading for the first half of February I hope you guys enjoyed it and please leave a comment at the bottom to let me know if it resonates with you um just going back to the reading that you guys had last time I think last time it was more about trying to figure out what to do um or having someone come in I think it was a uh, blast from the past um I might be maybe confusing it but I feel like you know what going forward it's gonna get better for you guys especially the fact that you guys got the ace of cup okay so hang tight it's coming in but just be true to yourself and be true to everyone around you okay you guys are i am be the i am that you are okay i love you guys take care